Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Cleveland Photographic Society Annual Awards for 2020. Welcome. I'm Chuck Fitzgerald, your first vice president, and it's been far too long since we've seen you, and we're hoping this will provide a new way for us to keep in touch until we can physically meet again. Over the next several weeks, we plan to provide you with a regular Friday evening meeting content, competitions, guest speakers, etc. Watch the CPS homepage, the calendar listings, and the weekly snapshot for updates. Tonight, we'll begin our much anticipated annual awards. Hope you enjoy. Here's our agenda for the evening. Deb Zimmerman, our outgoing president, will summarize her term and present her year-end awards. Mike Kopkis, our incoming president, will outline his plans and goals for the upcoming year. Deborah Willis, our community service chair, will recognize our active volunteers. We'll conclude with Bill Keaton's presentation of our year-end competition awards. If you'd like to view this presentation again, links will be posted on the CPS homepage and in the weekly snapshot newsletter, or simply visit YouTube and search for Cleveland Photographic. Now I'd like to turn it over to Deb Zimmerman, our outgoing president. I want to thank each and every one of you for giving me the opportunity to serve as president of CPS over the past two years. I have found the president is always supported and given praise that we have amazing volunteers and everyone is usually pulling in the same direction. It has been so satisfying and it makes the effort very worthwhile. I will really miss it, although I am looking forward to sitting back where you are. I am really looking forward to handing over the cowbell to Mike, and I will be there for him and his new board. Over the past two years, our Friday meetings have been quite eventful. We have had downtown field trips, ever popular light painting by Chuck Fitzgerald, phenomenal photo competitions, open critique night with judges, in your style, shooting like famous photographer nights by Coleman Rosenberg, tabletop workshop series, holiday parties, visits from Pixel Connection with models to photograph, and outstanding speakers. A few of the amazing speakers over the past two years that were here to entertain, educate, and inspire us were Charles Needles, Mike Motes, Don Kamarechka, Steve Gettle, and Johnny Yeo. Of course, many of our own members shared their talent and volunteered to speak as well. Eric from Dodd Camera came in and exclaimed, explained firmware and provided free firmware updates and sensor cleaning to all our membership. Chris Camino volunteered to lead our new Flickr challenge, later joined by Mike Kopkis. Barb Pennington and her new crew of talented volunteers hosted several successful rounds of the CPS men mentoring program. Our incredible field trips continued, as did our impressive school, with the addition of two new courses thanks to Vicki Work and John Soraya and their teams. As my term of president ends and Mike starts, not quite as either one of us expected, I would just like to say how honored I am to serve CPS. Thank you to everyone who has assisted me over the past two years and has volunteered for our club. CPS would not be the astounding organization it is without the dedication of our members. CPS deserves to grow and prosper, and it will grow and prosper with the continued participation. I hope you all continue to enjoy your passion for photography, but most of all, stay safe and healthy. Deb Zimmerman. Deb will now be presenting the President's Award. Each year, the President, at his or her discretion, can choose to award one or more President's Awards. These awards are designed to recognize people who provide significant service to CPS, 
largely in behind the scenes roles that too often go unnoticed by most of the membership. This year, I'd like to recognize two individuals without whose service to CPS would be a far less vibrant organization. President's Award, Joe Vanacek. Joe joined CPS in 2009, along with his daughter, Melissa. Almost immediately, Joe began volunteering in a variety of ways, with increasing levels of involvement followed by following his retirement from the Independence Police Force. Joe has volunteered in our community service program for several years and has served on the CPS Board of Directors since 2016. Perhaps one of his largest roles in CPS has been the co-director of the Fundamental School. In his role, he provides countless hours of service assisting students, providing materials for class, and generally countless hours assisting students, providing materials for cl class, and generally being the go-to person when things need to be done. For all these reasons and more, and with sin sincere gratitude, I present the 2020 President's Award to Joe Vanacek. Thanks, Joe. Sarah's name may not be familiar to many of you, but that's exactly why she deserves recognition. Every week, many of you receive and rely on our weekly newsletter, the weekly snapshot, of which Sarah is the editor. Shortly after she joined in 2018, the snapshot editor role opened. Upon being asked, she enthusiastically volunteered and she has never failed to produce a newsletter with interesting and important content every week ever since. Producing a weekly newsletter requires a great deal of behind the scenes work, but despite her full-time role as a teacher and her family responsibilities, you will always find a new edition in your mailbox every Monday at 9 a.m. In addition to her snapshot duties, Sarah also resumed the role of CPS Facebook Administrator in 2019 for her role in keeping CPS members and friends informed for all the club has to offer. I'm so very happy to present this award to Sarah Zitlo. Thank you, Sarah. Burt Klein Award. For almost 50 years, Burt Klein was the epitome of the CPS volunteer. As president, board member, school director, and ambitious helper, Bert was a constant presence and continuous helper to CPS. Upon his passing in July 2015, the Board of Directors authorized the creation of the Bert Klein Award in order to keep his memory alive and to recognize those who follow in his footsteps in tireless volunteerism to the club. Randy may not be familiar to many of you in the club, but you'll always notice his very tall, lanky, and ponytailed <laughs> presence whenever you attend, whenever he attends. Randy joined CPS with his wife, Darlene, back in August of 2009. Virtually from the onset, Randy began lending his expertise in computer coding to the club, establishing our web domains and keeping them safe, creating our email accounts and constantly keeping our web accounts up to date, helping us navigate hackers attacks and potential viruses. Wendy, Randy is always working behind the scenes to allow us to continue to communicate with you. As projection chairman, or as projection competitions became more and more popular, Randy worked tirelessly to establish the upload mechanism that allowed members to enter images accumulating his original work to create the Shutter Score program that allows us to safely and easily upload images for both competitions and exhibitions. For his continued behind the scenes work as webmaster, projection competition chair, and good friend to CPS, I am very happy to present the 2020 Burt Klein Award to Randy Biter. Thank you, Randy.
I'd now like to introduce Mike Kopkis, our incoming president. Hi. Uh, first of all, I want to thank all of you for the confidence that you've shown in me to serve as the pr uh, president of the club for this year. I promise you that I will do all that I can to keep the club vital and active. I want you to know that I have confidence in you as well. COVID-19 has brought us many challenges, but it also provides us with a unique opportunity to use our creativity to find new, safe ways to provide training, field trips, competitions, and camaraderie to all club members. I feel very certain that the dedicated and creative people in this club will step up to the challenge. Secondly, I want to commend and thank Deb Zimmerman for the great job she has done the past two years. Her dedication and innovations have helped the club grow and thrive and have provided all of us with opportunities to improve our skills as photographers. Finally, I have three goals in mind for next year. My number one goal is to move us as quickly and safely as possible to resuming normal activities. This is not going to be quick, it's not going to be easy, and it will require the commitment and cooperation of everyone. Until we can safely meet again in person, we will do our best to provide the kinds of activities we are all used to, albeit with limited face-to-face -face contact. My second goal is helping us develop our critiquing skills. That is, being able to look at our images, our own images, and those of others with a critical eye. When I first joined the club about six years ago, one of the first meetings I remember was an open critique night. Three of the most senior and experienced club members served as moderators and helped lead discussions on images that were submitted that night. They were very honest and tied brutally honest and very direct about what worked and what didn't work with each image. And they encouraged and received comments from all who attended. I honestly learned so much that night. I took many, many pages of notes. So I will be looking for ways to help us develop those critiquing skills through speakers, books, articles, videos, and as soon as possible, more open critique nights. My final goal is to get more members involved in helping with club activities. Our club is totally dependent on volunteers to provide the kinds of activities that make us so very special. So to borrow a phrase from John F. Kennedy, Ask not what your photo club can do for you. Ask what you can do for your photo club. I am encouraging each of you to think about how you might contribute, how you might share your talents and ideas. For now, without in-person meetings, that might mean sharing an article or a video or the name of a photography book you've read, sharing a new place to shoot or a new technique to try, writing articles for the snapshot or the darkroom door. Once we start meeting again, it might mean volunteering at a competition or helping out with a, a class, helping set up or clean up after a meeting, helping on a field trip, so many ways that you can volunteer. So I challenge each of you to find one way each month to contribute in some way to the club. We have a very challenging and difficult year ahead, but I am, I am confident that we will continue to be a strong and healthy photo club. And I look forward to working with all of you. Thank you. I'd now like to introduce Deborah Willis, our community service chair. Thank you. It's my pleasure to be here today because as you can see, volunteers truly are the heartbeat. Volunteers truly are the heartbeat of Cleveland Photographic Society. So it's my honor to present the recognition to those volunteers today. Our community service program was impacted by the pandemic, as many other organizations were, but our community service program continues to provide support to local nonprofit organizations. This program year, 97 requests were received, and that's up 23 from last year. Our volunteer pool continues to average 170 members, which is the same as last year, 
and we had 26 members who volunteered their time and talent to photograph community events. That's down eight from last year. However, we know that there are more than that. Our challenge is always to get individuals to submit their volunteer hours after they've com completed their volunteer activity. So we had over 1,054.81 volunteer hours provided this program year. The 26 volunteers we'd like to recognize are Chris Barker, Robert Boyle, Dave Saborik, John Dunlevy, Rosemary Flanagan, Dennis Glazer, Lee Goskost, Connie Heron, Tish Hopkins, Mariah Kaiser, Don Keller, Karen Krinsler, Thomas Knapp, Dan Lester, Bonnie Lesko, Fran Marino, Leslie Nutt, Bruce Orr, Lori Palmer, Julie Ross, Dan Sandy, Jane Sidney, Kim Wajalewski, sorry Kim, Ron Werman, Deborah Willis, and Janae Wilson. Again, this year we had 12 new organizations to join us, and the 12 new organizations are the Cleveland Chapter of Young Nonprofit Professional Networks, Cleveland Kosher Food Pantry, Convoy of Hope, Hannah Perkins Center, Leader Within Incorporated, Linking Partnership Opportunities Foundation, New Avenues, Richfield Chamber of Commerce, Teen Excellence, Urban League, Women's Safe Incorporated, and Yeshiva High School of Cleveland. We have four volunteers who photograph five or more events this program year. They're Dave Saborik, who photographs six events, Karen Krinsler, five events, Fran Marino, five events, and John Donlevy, five events. We also had seven volunteers who photographed five or more events and volunteered 50 or more hours. They are Don Keller, Dennis Glazer, Rosemary Flanagan, Janae Wilson, Dan Lester, Ron Worman, and Mariah Kaiser. The Cleveland Photographic Society also has two signature programs that take a lot of dedication and a lot of hours behind the scenes to coordinate. And so we would like to thank Bill Keaton for coordinating the Homeless Stand Down and Don Keller for coordinating the Special Olympics. The Special Olympics occurs over five days and it takes a lot of individuals to do both of those events. Bill has over 50 volunteers for the Homeless Stand Down, which is a one day event, and Don has about 30 to 40 volunteers for the five days of the Special Olympics. In 2018, CPS was certified as a, a certifying organization for the President's Volunteer Service Award. We began implementing the program on January 1st, 2019 as a way to recognize all of our members who volunteer on behalf of CPS. And I wanna thank Rob Eric who created the form for us to be able to record those hours. The award has three levels to it. The bronze, which is for individuals who volunteer 100 to 249 hours. The silver, which recognizes people who volunteer 251 to two, uh, 499 hours, and the goal, which recognizes people who do 500 hours or more of volunteer service. Please join us in congratulating the following seven members who have earned our inaugural President's Volunteer Award. We know there were many more volunteers, but again, we had to go by the documentation, to, documentation that we received. I'm going to start at the bottom with our bronze award, and that's for individuals who did 100 to 249 hours. And we had Dennis Glazer, who did 100.5, Matthew Mersko, who did 107.5, and Don Keller, who did 194.75. In the silver category, we had Mike Kop Kopkis, who did 250 hours, and Deborah Willis, who do, did 290.1 hours. In the gold category, we had Vicki Word, who did 1,016 hours, and Rob Eric, who did 2,105 hours. Those seven members donated a total of 4,063 hours to CPS. The Jim Frazier Award. The idea for a community service program was initiated in 2007 under the leadership of then President Rob Eric. Jim Frazier joined CPS in 2007 and was quickly named a member of the CPS Board of Directors. When Jim heard about the request for community volunteers, he jumped at the chance to volunteer. The Cleveland Municipal School District was our first organization to use our services, and as a result of our work with them, we were nominated for the National School Public Relations Award, 
annual Friends of Schools Award. Due to Jim's efforts, word spread about our volunteer services and five other nonprofit organizations utilized our services that first year. Mark Coletta became president of CPS in 2009 and made the Community Service Program an official committee and a full-time program in October 2009. Mark selected Jim to run the program. Under Jim's leadership, CPS's Community Service Program won two Photographic Society of America National Awards. Jim stepped down from the chairmanship in 2012, and Ron Werman was named the new chairman. Ron continued what Jim began, and like Jim, Ron was instrumental in growing the program and also providing community service. Ron's service reflected the true spirit and vision that Jim had for our community service program. Ron stepped down as chairman in 2018, and Sobeya Schilling and Deborah Willis became co-chairman. Sobeya stepped down as co-chairman in 2019. Sadly, Jim passed away in 2018. To honor his memory and passion for giving back and continuing to inspire others to help in providing community service, CPS created the Jim Frazier Award. This award is given to the CPS member who has demonstrated outstanding commitment and contributions to our community service program. In May 2018, the CPS Board of Directors awarded the first Jim Frazier Award to Ron Worman. The award was pre presented by Jim's wife, Margie. In May 2019, Maria, Mariah Kaiser became the second recipient. The award was presented by Ron Worman. Our 2020 award, uh, recipient is Don Keller. Don joined CPS in 2006. He's been a community service volunteer since 2013, and he has a special passion for working with Special Olympians. So thank you to all of those volunteers. We truly appreciate your service to Cleveland Photographic Society. Now presenting our competition awards will be Bill Keaton, our competition chair. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say thanks for your patience for waiting this long for us to announce these special awards. Uh, there's been some technical difficulties we had to overcome to make this possible. And because of that, I want to thank Rob Eric and Mike Kopkus, Chuck Fitzgerald for the time they put in to make this presentation possible. A tip of the hat to them. And speaking of the hats, normally we have each competition chairman announce these results uh, for the sake of keeping this to a minimum number of people and social distancing. I will be making all the announcements today, so I'll be wearing the many hats for the competition chairs. And with that, uh, the competition chairs are uh, Lori Culp is in charge of B competition. She is stepping down this year. Thank you, Lori, for all your time. Uh, she's being replaced by Sharon Grobe. In black and white, the chair is Russell Whitmore. He, too, is stepping down, and I want to thank him for his help. He will be replaced by Dave Saborik. The creative chair is Dan Sandy. Nature chair is Bill Keaton. People chair is Eric Wethington. In projection is Randy Bider. And for photojournalism, it is Mariah Kaiser. And with that, we'll get started with our B competition. And we'll start with total points, the accumulated points. In third place, Shelly Abood, second place, Fran Marino, first place, Marge Brady, and moving on to the B images. In third place, Doc the Lion by Margaret Brady. In second place, Steam in the Valley, by Serena Cernick. In third place, Costa Rica School at 45 by Mike Gall. And the image of the year in the B competition, the winner is Fran Marino for her photo in sickness and in health. All right, moving on to our next category, 
It will be our black and white photos. And to start off with, for accumulated points, in third place, Rick Carell. In second place, Bill Keaton. And first place for accumulated points in black and white goes to John Theobald. Moving on to the images, in third place, Anne by Susan Bestel. In second place, Orchids by Dave Saboric. First place, Ethiopian Scholar by John Theobald. And the image of the year in the black and white category goes to Rick Carell for Glass Blower 2. There are several special awards that we give at the end of the year in the various categories. Each year as annual awards ceremony, the Cleveland Photographic Society bestows awards in recognition of past members who have played a vital role in shaping the history of the organization. Winning images are selected as part of the year-end competition based on the specific criteria outlined below. Winning images are awarded a gold ribbon and are displayed in the club rooms for the entire next club year. And the first special award is the William B. Meyer Award Bill wore many hats at CPS throughout his 40 years with the organization. He was president, print chair, school director, instructor, and co-founder of the Northeast Ohio Camera Club organization. He was a master craftsman in black and white photography. He was a May Show and Jewish Community Center show exhibitor known for his bromoils, a mentor, and a photographer always willing to share his experience. The William Meyer Award is for the best scenic in nature competition in a black and white competition. And the William Meyer Award this year goes to Dennis Wirt for Rialdo Beach NP. Our next category, creative category. Uh, and for the, now, we'll move on to the uh, accumulated points. There's a tie off for third place, Susan Bestel, Omar Jeffries, Vicki Wirt, and Deb Zimmerman. For second place, Mike Kopkus. And the first place accumulated point winner, Russell Whitmore. Moving on to the creative prints. In third place, The Cleveland Ball by Omar Jeffries. Second place, And They're Off and Running by Mike Kopkus. First place, A Worm's Eye View by Chris Bosworth. And the image of the year in the creative category goes to Susan Bestel for Dancing in the Rain. The special award in the creative competition category is the Charles Casu Award. Charles' interest in photography began in the late 1950s when he bought his first 35 millimeter camera. He began to compete in the Cleveland Camera Club circuit in the late 60s and quickly became a winner. His interest spanned a gamut of subjects from nature to all forms of pictorial, including his particular love of creativity 
getting away from typical perspectives on any subject. He used a variety of formats from 35 millimeter slides to large format black and white and color. He developed and printed both black and white and color and got involved with computer creations using Adobe programs. Many photographic clubs in the Cleveland area enjoyed his judging of the competitions and welcomed his comments and suggestions. The Charles Casso Award is for best creative image through computer processing entered in a creative competition. This year's Charles Casso Award goes to Russell Whitmore for Escaping Dreamland. Moving on, our next category is nature. So first we'll start with nature accumulated points. In third place, Russell Whitmore. Second place, Vicki Wirt. And first place accumulated points for the nature category, Keith Marchand. Moving on to images. In third place, Red Eye by Keith Marchand. In second place, Feeding Beaver by Rick Carell. First place, Eloquence in Flight by Bob Koaleski. And the Nature Image of the Year is awarded to Susan Bestel for her Feed Me. The special category in nature is the Ruth Morrison Award. Ruth was president of CPS six times between 1965 and 1988. She was also a CPS board member, CPS school instructor, and chair of nature and pictorial competitions. Founder and teacher of the CPS School of Judging, she also found time to belong to the NEOCC Council and was head of the council for two years. Ruth was an avid nature photographer and dogged in her insistence that any image entered in the nature division have no hint of the hand of man. Ruth was generous in sharing her methods and often took new members under her wing to encourage them in the art of photography. Her award reflects her insistence on no hand of man, including photographs taken in zoos or any artificial setting. The Ruth Morrison Award is for best authentic image entered in a nature competition, and this year's award winner is John Theobald for the photograph, Got Milk. Moving on, the next category is the people competition, and as usual, we'll start with accumulated points. In third place, Bill Keaton. Second place, Russell Whitmore. And first place in people photography this year, Jackie Sayuski. Sayuski, my apologies. On to the people images. In third place, Laotian Girl by Richard Ader. Little Princess is in second place by John Theobald. First place, Putting on the Ritz by Bill Keaton. And the image of the year in nature, or correction in people, is Mother Nature by Jackie Sayeski. The special award in the people category is the Charlie Award. Charlie Servanak was a judge for countless competitions at CPS, 
over a period covering at least 15 years. Although a club member for only a year before his untimely passing, in his brief tenure he became a board member and a driving force behind the basic digital photography class. An avid eagle watcher, Charlie would rise every Wednesday morning at 4 a.m. to check the nests to which he was assigned during the period of mating, exiting, and nurturing of the young eaglets. He was full of life, funny, creative, and made all feel a part of his family with his photos and stories of his grandson, Max. The Charlie Award is for the best image in people competition after the image of the year, and this year, the award goes to Dan Sandy for playing to the rock gods. And with that, we shall move on to the pictorial print category, starting with accumulated points. In third place, Susan Bestel. Second place, Vicki Wirt. And first place in pictorial prints for accumulated points, Rick Mills. Moving on to the images. In third place, Key Tower by Dan Sandy. In second place, Waiting Bluebird by Rick Carell. First place, Steampunk Goddess by Jackie Sayeski. And the pictorial print image of the year award goes to Kathy Amari for Fast Fingers. In the pictorial print category, we have a special award, the John C. Mahjong Award. John was a CPS school director for 40 years, color slide chairman from 1941 to 1969, trustee on the board for many years, and print director in charge of traveling shows. John also gave lectures throughout the USA and judged at PSA salons where he was known as Mr. CPS. The John C. Mahjong Award is for the best color scenic entered in a pictorial print competition. And this year's award goes to Bill Keaton for Lifeless. Moving on to the pictorial proje uh, projection category. Uh, Again, we'll start with accumulated points. In third place, Jackie Sayeski. In second place, John Harford. In first place, in accumulated points for project or pictorial projection, Ron Wilson. Moving on to images. In third place, The Wild Dream by John Theobald. In second place, Street Sweeper by Richard Ader. First place, Golden Girl by Jackie Sayeski. And the pictorial projection image of the year is awarded to Ron Wilson for Bull Rider 10BW. There are a couple of special awards that fall under this category. The first, the Henry Mayer Award. Henry taught an industrial photography class for the CPS school. He became known as the Dean of Nature because of his interest in nature photography. His work still graces Emerald Necklace publications 
and some of his prints are part of the Smithsonian's permanent collection. He was recognized as a fellow of the Photographic Society of America for achievements in teaching, judging, and publishing to further the art of photography. The Henry Mayer Award is for the best nature image entered in a pictorial projected competition. And the winner of that award this year is Vicki Wirt for uh, Arches Sunrise. A second award in this category is the Burt Klein Award. Burt Klein was a member of CPS for almost 50 years. During that time, he served the club in almost every role imaginable. President, school instructor, school director for 35 years, and general handyman who could fix almost anything. Many credit Burt with saving the club when it was on the verge of disbanding and helping to set us on a course to the success we enjoy today. He was also a regular judge on the local camera club circuit, free, freely sharing his insights and keen eye for composition with the photographic community. While his knowledge of photography and camera equipment was almost encyclopedic, in his later years he turned almost exclusively to sharing images of his beloved pets and other animals. The Burt Klein Award is for the best image of a pet or domesticated animal entered in either pictorial category or from a bee competition. And the award this year goes to Barb Cerrito for Birthday Girl. The last photographic competition to present awards today is for photojournalism. Uh, photojournalism is handled a little different in that we don't have competitions throughout the year, but only at the end of the year. So there are no accumulated points for the in category, uh, but there are awards for the images. And so we'll get on to those. Third place in photojournalism goes to Pilgrims and Monks. LeBron Monastery by Janine Hobby. Second place is Fireman's Cigarette Break by Richard Ader. First place, The Chinese in Tibet by John Theobald. And the journalism image of the year goes to Bill Keaton for contemplating the years. The last award to be presented tonight is one that we just started a couple of years ago. It is the Photographer of the Year Award that goes to the person who has accumulated the most points across several categories throughout the competition year. And this year, third place goes to Jackie Sayeski, who earned 68 points. Second place was Vicki Wirt with 72 points. And the CPS Photographer of the Year Having earned 86 points, the award this year goes to Russell Whitmore. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this presentation uh, and look forward to everybody competing in the coming competition year. Thank you all for watching. While this evening's program was pre-recorded, we'd still love to hear your questions and comments. So please feel free to write us at info at clevelandphoto.org. And again, thank you for watching and stay safe out there. And congratulations to all of our winners. Thank you. <laughs>